Hey everyone, welcome back to the next video in the solar kiln build series. And so as you can see in this video, what I'm going to be doing is putting the siding, the sheathing on, on the walls, on the exterior. Definitely go back and check out the first six or seven videos that I have out there. It'll walk you through the process of how I started building the base of the kiln all the way up to the framing, the roofing, and the whole bit. So if it's something you're interested in, it'll kind of show you what is involved in putting this together. For now, I'm just gonna get the plywood cut. I'm gonna put the sheathing on the two sides, and then we are gonna go from there. So we will see you in a bit. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. What I'm going to be doing now is basically building the frame for where the fans are going to mount inside the kiln. First thing I did was went online to Amazon and I ordered three box fans and I also while I was on there I ordered the eight vent covers that are going to need to cover all the vents. You can see I've already gotten the sheathing put on the whole kiln aside from the door of course. You still have to build the two doors. Without any delay I'm just going to get right into it and we will see you in a bit. So what I did is I took some of these uh, scrap pieces of wood on either end and I screwed it into the framing uh, exactly where the bottom of this whole frame for the fan needs to go and I have that measured out perfectly. And at the top I have drawn where the top piece of the framing needs to go for the fans and then I'm going to put a piece of framing in between it but that'll hold that in place and it'll actually hold the whole frame up while I'm building it, which is gonna make that so much nicer and so much easier. And may even leave it in place when I'm done because I probably won't have any real reason to remove it. So what I'm going to do now is cut the next piece for the side of the frame and then I'm going to attach the top. So I'm gonna put the two sides on then the top and then I'm going to go ahead and put in all the framing in the middle <clears throat> so I have the place for the fans to go and then I will close it in. These are some of the logs that I got from the storm that we had and some of these are only you know like four feet long, four or five feet long. I looked at them and thought you know those are pretty wide logs even though they did cut it up before I got a chance to pick it up I can still make some short wide boards out of it. And what I've been doing is cutting it at about three quarters of an inch thick and I have them, a lot of them stacked over here. And the other benefit of short logs is I can make stickers. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna use these wide boards that I cut the other day for closing in that frame. The fans on the inside in here to close in the wall when I'm done rather than using plywood. That'll save me some money there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pieces I need to finish this fan frame and then we'll go ahead and close it in. See you in a bit. I'll tell you one thing, I really think this kiln's gonna work well. Cause I'm trying to work in here right now and it is hot. <laughs> uh, there's no insulation and the doors aren't even on it yet. <laughs> this thing's gonna be, it's gonna get hot. <laughs> Thank you. 
So up above, you can see there's a gap here, but there's no gap here. So what I did, when I put this frame in, the top and the bottom parts of this frame, there was a little bit of a gap up here. You can see a couple of inches of a gap. So what I decided to do was just take some 2x4 that I just milled on the mill a couple days ago, use them just to fill that gap in. It's green wood, but it's not supporting anything or holding anything other than just holding back the air, really. And it should be just good enough to do that. And I'm just screwing these right into the rafters. See, I'm just putting a couple of screws in each of the rafters that the 2x4 meets up with and uh, that's it. I mean it doesn't have to do anything other than the screws just have to hold that board where it is and four screws is plenty just to hold that one small 2x4 in place. So when the fans are blowing this way it's going to force the air down this way and it won't be allowed to come back. So I'm just going to get one, that one last piece filled in over there and uh, we'll keep going. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the framing pieces that go here in between. That will essentially hold the fans into place and then we'll go ahead and cut some of those wide boards. Just screw them on here to close it in. And then when we get those fans, we'll be able to screw in place and be ready to go. 21 and a quarter inches, I believe. Double check. All right, so one thing I gotta say, I definitely self see myself hitting my head here. I might have to start wearing a helmet when I come in here. <laughs> should be plenty good if I put two screws top and bottom. I'm gonna put some pressure on this in the center so the boards fit in here snugly while I screw them in. Board's still wedged in here, it should be about 21 and a quarter across here. Bingo. Hmm. The sky is falling. Check this out, 100.2 and climbing. I'm working in a 100 degree room. Okay, so as you can see, I put the first couple of pieces in for the, uh, I guess sheathing you'd call it, for the frame that the fans are going to go in. And all I did was take off some crap pieces of wood that came off the mill from a pine log that I cut. Um, they're not straight and they're not even or flat, <laughs> but they completely cover the hole and it makes use of wood that I otherwise may not have been able to use. So I'm using those to cover that gap. It's serving its purpose and I'm not wasting any material so it works out really well. As long as it's closed in. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to close in the end with a couple more pieces that I cut out of material that you can see is thinner on one side and thicker on the other. I would have had to plane the crap out of this to use it. And uh, if I can use it for this purpose, even better. Now oh, fan's gonna be going in here where the strap is. So I'm, and the fan, fan's gonna be going over here. So I need to fill in this. In case you're wondering what that tweeting now noise is. Baby chicks. They're exploring. There they 
go. <laughs> Gotta love it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces of wood and I'll be right back. That is it for the fan baffle. The fan shroud is done, the frame. The next step is framing the doors, insulating and sheathing the doors, putting the vents in, putting the fans in, insulating the interior walls and closing the interior walls, and then painting all the interior walls black. And at that point, we'll be pretty much done. And uh, we, we got a visitor over here that just wanted to say goodbye as well. I think this chicken thinks I made built him his own house. No, this isn't your house. No. Go to your home. <laughs> it's going over to the lawn. Anyway, thank you guys as always for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. And if you like this video, you're definitely going to like the other videos on the channel. I'll put some links up in here and around here. And definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, which is on one of these sides over here. And hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when we put out new videos. As always, we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, have a great day, and we will talk to you very soon.